Who is the unsung personality of the Boston Red Sox? Hey everybody, it's Paulie. Welcome back to This Week in Red. Today I want to talk about Terry Francona, the manager of the Red Sox. The man who I think is the glue that holds this team together. This is a guy who never panics, he never gets too high, he never gets too low. Granted, he may not be the best X's and O's manager out there, but when it comes to managing personalities, he's nobody better than him in baseball. And that's what you have to do when you are managing a team of high salary players in today's modern sports era. You got to know what makes these guys tick. You got to know what makes them not tick and you got to manage accordingly. And I think Francona has shown such an ability to do this going back to 2004, the Sox down 3-0 in the ALCS to the Yankees. Every game is an elimination game. So what does Terry do? He says, hey, we're going to take it pitch by pitch, inning by inning, game by game, and then we're going to see where we are at the end. And sure enough, the Sox played with little pressure on themselves, wound up winning the series, and made history. And this year, it's been a little different for Francona. They had a lot of expectations coming into the season, got off to a bad start, 2-10. and 10. But again, he's never too high, never too low, kept things on an even keel, and eventually the Sox built themselves back up to respectability. And now they're hoping to really use it as a jumping off point to really start to excel and to really start to live up to the expectations coming into the season. A couple things that he's done this season that I think have really been key to the Red Sox renaissance, he's managed personalities like Josh Beckett. You know, I don't think he came out and said it publicly, but he made Josh the fourth starter in the rotation at the beginning of the season. And I think that really kind of tweaked Josh a little bit, put a chip on his shoulder, and really has helped him to excel early in the season because he's pitched out of his mind. He's pitching like the ace that he was in 2007 when the Sox went all the way to the World Series and won it. You know, he knows John Lester is his best guy in the rotation this year but he still knows that he has to count on Beckett a lot if this team's going to be successful. And you know, when guys have slumped, he's moved them up and down in the order. He's, he's done well with Carl Crawford, managed that personality. And I just think that he's one of the unsung guys in baseball. He doesn't always get a lot of credit for the way he manages the Red Sox, but he certainly deserves it. And then I want to know from you guys, do you think Francona is all that? Or do you think that he's just kind of lumped in with a lot of the other managers? Do you think perhaps Joe Girardi's a better manager than him for you Yankee fans out there? I'd like to hear from you, so let me know here at This Week in Red.